Hello, it's Azumi, and Usagi's here with me today again. Hi. So, I'm going to go over some of the uh, basics of gameplay on this. Uh, and she's just here to probably make fun of me when I... I am here to give moral support and be a good... <laughs> I can't even finish that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Anyway, let's start with some of the basics on leveling up. So, you want... You want to, the easiest way to level up your character or with the lesson tickets and then you just you know use them you can use a bunch of them at once and it takes your gold and boom level up so that's fairly simple and straightforward you can also level up by just fighting with them but it takes a lot longer to do that so each ticket is the different levels like blue is level one power you up yeah, you see okay. how the how the that one's got one little star in the middle and then or diamond shape, and this one's two and then three. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's basically what that is. Because he's played it more than me, so I'm learning too with you guys. But I'm a slow learner. <laughs> yes, we know. <laughs> I married you, so I gotta be. <laughs> oh, definitely. So next, let's go over the skills. This is basically um, orbing from Valkyrie Connect. So, it's very similar. You know, you go here, you need this, and you just go get what you need. Boom, got lucky and got one on the first one. And then you can get this skill level up. I need another one of these. Got, we got lucky and got another one. And... Now we need one of these flowers. Got one on the first one that time. A special shop. We'll go over the shop later on. Okay, so now the cool part about this game is say I have the one for this one. And I have the one for this one too. So I can just go, you know. And if I had the ones for all the... for the ones that are connected to it would unlock all of them so it'll do both of these at one time with the batch unlock now give me access to do these two and that's basically it you get these two up your uh, the skill level of your action skills and then to go up to the next rank you have to get all the ones around the diamond and then it'll give you access to the one in the middle so that's pretty much how it goes. I don't. I'm not sure how many ranks there are yet. The highest one that I have up to, I think, is three. But it still says rank up, so I imagine it goes higher. I think it goes to five. So next, let's go on how to star up your characters. So you can do this um, potential bloom. So we go, oh, where to obtain, oh, that's that, that one's part of the event. So we'll pick this one, where to obtain, and then you got the stages, or you can buy them in the shop. So we'll do a stage first, and I didn't get one, but they're random, the souls are random drops. And the bad part about it is, is you can only do five a day, period. No matter, be split between all the characters. So, it's kind of a slow process. But, what really makes up for it is, is the shop portion. So, if you have these uh, red potential crystals, you can go in here and find one of the characters that you are trying to star up. And here's the captain. Now see, I've already bought some with her, so it raises the rate. So you can go in here and buy, you know, as many of the souls as you need to... Yeah, see, now it went up to... The cost is now three instead of two because I keep buying them, so... But that's an easy way to get souls for characters you already have. If you don't already have the character, then buying their souls is not going to help you. Uh, so now we're going to go to the memoirs and what they do so 
those are basically your equipment in this game and to basically upgrade them you go to here and then I don't think I have any so I'll waste uh, do I have a one star one that's crappy no I don't eh, we'll use another one of these ideally you want to use the um, ones that are just for upgrading but yeah it'll just raise the level on it and give you improved stats that's how you do that back into it again went too far with the good go boundary break so say you have multiples you take the one that you have do doubles of and then pick this one and see it will give you another I guess diamond star thing towards it and you can get four a piece and it just ups the max level which will give you of course increased stats Are you having fun? A lot of talking. I'm just trying to keep up. Okay. But say, um, you know, you have some that you're not too fond of and you don't want to use them for anything. So, let's see. What does this one do? It's a barrier. What does this one do? Probably not going to use that one. So then you take and sell it and you get a little bit of these purple coins. Which then you can go into the shop and spend for different things in here. These are uh, gifts that you can give your girls. Um, a four star guaranteed ticket and then this one's just the star ticket. So it's pretty nice there. Next we'll go over the review songs. You can sell those of course. And then you know if you want to make you combine them. And then it'll give you a new effect. Oh you gotta do three. How do you know which one to combine? Um I usually see how these have three of uh, three little symbols on them. I usually combine the one at first the ones with two symbols. Well, with one symbol. Okay. So then it, that'll give you one with two symbols. So it'll give you two different effects instead of just one. So what you do is you repeat that process until you get three two star three um, ones with two effects, and then you can make one with three effects. And it's completely random what you get, so you just keep making them farming them over and over until you get one that works really good with the team that you're using so it doesn't hurt you whichever ones you use because if it's random yeah it doesn't it, it uh, so if it says it does an effect you're not you might not even get that same effect if you get it because it, the new effects are completely random every time make sense yeah so um another, that's basically I guess it for all the main features um, the cool thing about this is you are pretty much guaranteed with the pulls that you do so you do the 10 times it'll go down by 10 you do I guess 10 times 10 10 times pulls and you're guaranteed a four star so I'm not sure if it means this four star or if there are other four stars in the pool but at, le at least you're guaranteed and all the ones that I've seen so far have been guaranteed and you can use these tickets I think what I have two of them yeah and it just gives you you know random stuff it could be a hero or it could be a memoir or something or fusion material or whatever so yeah I've got a red gem and then a memoir off that I don't know it would probably be better if you saved up ten of them and did it so, and now a little bit about Arena. I already did the other one that was here, so. You basically get these chests. And it, they give you some nice stuff. The higher level chest has a chance to give you uh, 
gems, so it's really good to farm them up. You can get some, it's not many gems, but they add up. You know, 7, 8, that's 15. 6, so that's 21 I just got right there. That's not too bad. Plus, you can use those coins for special stuff in the shop. To buy, you know, more of the same gifts for your girls and lesson tickets. And then these are the uh, upgrade memoirs that you need to give your memoirs a lot of experience. So, yep, I think that's going to be about it. I think I covered most everything that I can think of. Yes, I think so. So I hope that helped out some people who are new to the game. Um, anything you want to say? No. No? You're good? Um, we're going to try to start live streaming every either Friday or Saturday night. We'll try to let people know beforehand. Yeah, we'll announce it. Try to announce it ahead of time. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for watching.